Hi, is a child ever too young to learn about the great peacemakers and leaders of our society? I would say no. As I was working with a certain material in my classroom today, and the children were really enjoying it and we were working with it for an extended period of time, I thought, hey, I could share this with you all. Okay, so we know at a very early age, at least here in the United States, and I'm sure throughout the world, children are bombarded with images about famous people. Who's important in our society? Athletes, supermodels, actors, and some of them are probably great all-around people. I'm sure a lot of them are. That's not usually how our children hear about them. But the good news is we can take the initiative and introduce people who are famous and probably should be even more famous for the things they did to make the world a better place. Now, maybe you're thinking, wait a minute, Julie. <laughs> Toddlers and preschoolers aren't social explorers or humanistic explorers. They're not seeking out actively role models and they're not seeking to understand the broader cultures in our world. They wanna know what's up with my home environment and what's up with my school environment. And you are right. And part of that question of the zero to six child of what is what is important to my family? What does my family care about? What is this family? So one small thing we can do in this overarching purpose of Montessori education or Montessori parenting, which is education for peace, is to introduce some peacemakers. And I have a specific work I'm going to show you in the classroom and how we do it, but it's something you can do at home super easily and it just serves as a talking point for your children and send an indirect message that, hey, this is what the Lee family values. So I'll show you the material and in our classroom, it lives on the language shelf. So let's head over there. All right, so it's very simple. It's just our language cards. So I call them our peacemakers. So I've just taken some Google images cut it out, put it on a piece of paper at home. You wouldn't even need to laminate them. And then we present them as we would any other language material. And I'll put a link to how we present language cards up there somewhere. But we just present them very simply. We show them the image so, um, of the person, peacemaker. And then we just provide the essence of how that person made peace. So it's not a history lesson. They're not at that age yet. It's not a cultural exploration. They're not at that age yet. It's not talking of directly about how they're a role model for us. It's just giving the essence of how this person worked for peace. So I would say something like Mahatma Gandhi. He made peace by saying, these rules aren't fair, and he kept saying it over and over until people began to listen. There's a lot more to it, and there's time for them to discover that. And if they ask a question, answer the questions that are asked of you, right? Simply. Cesar Chavez, he made peace by making sure that people were paid fairly and could have breaks when they were working hard. Mother Teresa, she made peace by making sure that children had food and medicine. Simple as that. So you can make your own cards at home for the people who you value and admire, the people who did the work that your family values and admires, and it can be something like peacemaking, or it could be you know, musicians you admire, or scientists you admire, but just real life superheroes whose images and work we can share with our children. All right, so a few tips for making your cards, and that is to choose people whose work you are passionate about to share with your children. Try to have some diversity in the people you're presenting. So an age, gender, ethnicity, and ability, for example. Keep your explanation super simple, and this can be really a great practice for yourself, is like, what is the essence of what they did. So for example, one of our cards is Desmond Tutu. At this age, I don't go into the history of apartheid. I just say he made peace by inviting people to listen to each other, which is the essence of the work he did. 
hey, it's just a, a starting point to introduce these people. It is fun. I've got a feedback from families that the children see the images of these people. Other places, I remember vividly the first child, it was like the parent came in and goes, how, you know, how's my child know about Bob Marley? We've got Bob Marley in our Peacemaker cars and um, in our mobile, so that was fun. So they, they do start to think about them and recognize them other places. And isn't that cool that their child recognized images of a peacemaking musician versus, you know, a superhero or a movie star? Oh, and also include images of living and of deceased people. And don't worry about trying to choose people who are only perfect. Every faith has examples of people who are called to do great things, people who are, who are humble, imperfect people. Don't let imperfections in people's lives deter you from using them. The focus is of the great work they did. We maybe have some standard. So Dr. Montessori, having survived two wars and been interned for a long period of time during World War II, really had as her overarching goal in Montessori education, this concept of education for peace. So as we work together, parents and educators, let's remember her quote, preventing war is the work of politicians. Establishing lasting peace is the work of educators and teachers are educators and parents are the most important educators. You don't have to make a set of language cards like I have here for a classroom to start these conversations and to directly and indirectly let your children know the type of work in the world and the type of people in the world you admire. You can just print a picture off Google Images and like put it on your refrigerator and young children are just drawn to the human face and you know, they'll probably just notice it or you can point it out and say, you know who that is? And just say a little bit about them and change it every couple weeks. Like it doesn't have to be this big project to help our children learn who the real superheroes in our world are. And eventually when they get to that second, third plane of development, be inspired by them and to really research them and understand their influence in the world. But we can start with this little piece of it here in our schools and in our homes. Please comment below with your favorite peacemakers and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and here's some more videos to watch. All right, take care.